So I decided what I'm doing. Food. I'm taking y'all to one of the best places to eat for Mexican food. It's an actual sit-down restaurant for families. So if you have a family, this is a place to go. They have the best Mexican food when it comes to people sitting down, all right? I'll show you guys. I've been coming here since I was a kid. This place has been here longer than I've been alive, you hear me, that I know of. It's a really good restaurant. Um, we're gonna go ahead and probably order carry out. If I can find a spot, that's another thing is trying to find a spot in here is, is always ridiculous. Um, you can't ever. <laughs> a lot of times you have to park across the street at the other restaurant to eat here, which the other restaurant closed, but this place this place is still but I can smell the food now. You can smell it on the road. I was thinking, like, I haven't ate all day. I got to eat. You know I eat good. I, I eat good. I always eat good. Plus, I'm hurting a lot. I'm thinking about margarita a lot. Um, I, I, I'm hurting bad. Real bad. And I know this food will comfort me. Also, I know the bathroom in there is on the side. I can wash my hands and shit. And it's not so bad, you know what I mean? Like, it's right there, so. It makes it convenient for me. There's a Mexican right here with this truck. He's got a nice Ford truck. God, it smells so good. I'm over here fucking falling. My shoes caught the door. Hey, I gotta have real food. I, I think I'm gonna get a tostada dinner. Tostada, beans, and rice. I really want a cheese enchilada, but I think, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna get. I might get the cheese enchilada dinner. Cheese enchiladas are my favorite, but I would love some tostada. I love tostadas. I love all of it. Uh, some margarita. That girl can cook. That woman can cook. I haven't ate good at home since her. I have to go out to get any good food. See, this place is slapping it. It's busy. Whole families come here, all of that. You're welcome. Kids gotta get their, gotta get the bouncy balls. No problem. So, place in order. This, this place, I promise you, this place is. It's worth coming here. You'll, you'll enjoy the food. The food is amazing here. Let me see about the menu. No, I was going to place an order. I was just seeing if he had a menu. Yes, we do. One second. I appreciate you. Thank you. Brady, can you hand him a menu? Yep. Yep, thank you. There you are. They're amazing. All right, let's see what we want. They got Fiesta egg dishes, machicado. They got uh, Spanish omelets. Botana, so when I was a kid, me and my stepsisters, my stepmom, my dad, the older father I always speak about would bring us up here. And uh, me and my stepsisters would always split a botana, which is corn chips covered with chorizo, beans, melted cheese, topped with fresh tomatoes, onions, Spanish olives, bell peppers, and avocado slices. And we would have them give us a shitload of sour cream on the side. That's how we ate it. That's what we got every single time here. If we ate together. If I was allowed to get something myself, I always got the enchilada dinner. Which, they still make this, this one. Their coleslaw is the shit. Their coleslaw is the best coleslaw you'll ever have. 
their rice is amazing. Their beans are good. Everything about this place is real authentic Mexicana. You know, obviously, you know, they they tailored it, you know, to make it more, you know, easier to make and whatnot, you know, but listen, it, it tastes just like the real deal. They got flautas, they got not flautas, they got all that stuff. Chimichangas, taco salad, fiesta salad, stuffed jalapeno, quesadillas, they got menudo, they got wet burritos, all that stuff. Refried beans and Mexican sausage, frijoles, con chorizo and melted cheese, carne asada. A tamale dinner, they got tamales dinner. This is where I'm looking for tacos, right here. Enchiladas and tostadas. Tostadas, flat, crispy corn tortilla, topped with your choice of topping, finished with shredded lettuce and mild sauce, served with your choice of one side. Rice, beans, or coleslaw. They got chicken and cheese, ground beef and cheese, ground beef, bean and cheese. I think that's what I'm going to get, simply because it's light. The cheese, I haven't ate all day. If I get that heavy cheese, I'm going to be fucked up in my lungs. I'm, I'm going to have back issues. You understand what I'm saying? That cheese, my body doesn't process cheese like that, like it used to. It does. I, I can eat it. I just can't. I'm not, I can't eat three enchiladas and expect to be fine the next day. You get what I'm saying? It's, it's, my body doesn't handle that type of grease oil anymore. I'll do it. It's just, I know what's in store for me the next day. It's so tempting. I really want to get two of them. So, the enchiladas are rolled corn tortillas dipped in a mild ancho chili sauce and stuffed with your choice of filling served with your choice of two sides. They got cheese, ground beef, ground beef and cheese, chicken, bean and cheese, chicken and cheese. And then they got uh, enchilada suazas or suizas, which is three chicken enchiladas with verde sauce, mal melted cheese, crema, and garnish salad served with rice and beans. Fourteen fifty. That's what I'm gonna get. A small combo. It's a beef taco, a cheese enchilada, right, and a bean and cheese tostada, served with a side of rice for twelve fifty. I get a taco. I get a tostada, and I still get my cheese enchilada. All for twelve fifty. That's what I'm going with. Hello, I'd like to place an order, please. Uh, John is fine. Zero one. Can I have the uh, Fiesta small combo? The beef taco, cheese enchilada. Yeah, did you want rice, beans, or coleslaw? Coleslaw. Okay. The, the, the coleslaw is the best here. Yeah. It is. It really is. Yeah. Um, anything else? That would be it. Any kind of mild? Mild sauce is fine. All right. No hot today. Okay, it's going to be thirteen fifty-seven. Just give me a five bet. Okay. Keep the rest for tip. Fifteen bucks is not bad. I'm telling you, you gotta come here. This place has been here ever since I was a kid. Before I was a kid, the food has never changed. It's been the same ever since I was little. So and it's real food. Sorry. No worries. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Soda to give me. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, shoot. Sorry, I'll just give her the five. I told her to give me a five back, right? She gave me the single back and change, kept the five for tip. 
I have to give it a dollar in to change for tip, not a five for tip, but it's fine. It's always save your receipts, you hear me? <laughs> People crack me up. I gotta wash my hands. That's why I came in here. I kinda have to piss too, but I don't think y'all wanna see me piss, which I can just turn around the camera. I can't believe she just did that. <laughs> She misunderstood. She can keep the five. I'll make it up tomorrow. Listen, that money was given to me by Jesus, by God, okay? I didn't have that job. I, I didn't have no work, nothing. No money for anything. I had to ask God, Jesus, for work. And then here is Lou finally coming through on that car, which he talked about fixing that car a month ago. You know, and he's, he's just now having me get on it. That just tells you how slow people are. Listen, I've been in business for a long time, doing stuff in Marketplace, business for people, running cell phone stores, all that stuff, man. People put stuff off the last year. I've had, listen, I've had cars sit for a whole year that for sale, not make a dime off of it. Have to figure out, like almost expecting to sell that car that day, like for sure this is gonna sell because of what it is and it sits for a year. You never know a business, you just don't. And here's my hands not coming clean. I got, I need real soap. That's not real dish soap. But clean enough to eat. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go to Planet Fitness and take a shower. It's all in my mustache and shit. My mustache is black. Yeah, it's shower time. This place is amazing, it really is. They got good food here. Coming in for a long, long time since shit. 90s? This place has been here. Been here for a long time. Mexican Fiesta restaurant one or two. The other one's in Canton. I've been there. I never go there though. I always come here. This recognition is given to you as a celebration of 50 years of running a successful family owned restaurant in the Metro Detroit area. Your substantially and ever changing economic climate is to be commended. Us at Westside Beer, thank you, and wish you another 50 years of success. And that's in 2012, 50 years. So, tells you something. Way before my time. The 50 years of serving the community. Dearborn Heights Professional Firefighters, Local 1355. Every time I see that picture, it reminds me of Margarita. Every time I see it. <laughs> Not wait to eat, show y'all this food. It's good. I was going to take y'all to Social Amigos, which is uh, Southwest Detroit. This place has a beat, though, in my opinion. Uh, they make better food here than Social Amigos. That's just a personal opinion preference. Um, it's it's amazing the food that they make here. I mean, fifty years in business. I couldn't tell you how many people, like moms, have worked here that I know over the years. Which is funny is the Indian girl that. Uh, 
at uh, the Falcon Inn Motel. She works here. She's the server. She's right there. Interesting. Wouldn't have, wouldn't have expected that. But then again, I mean, I'm Polish and I'm well cultured. I'm traveled. I'm heading to Mexico City to propose to a woman again. The same woman I already proposed to. But she said yes. The only woman I've ever proposed to. Listen, listen, my stomach is growling, man. All day, hard labor. <clears throat> I took my time away. I moved really slow. So I didn't want to hurt myself. And if you see in the cars where it's at, nobody was around to help me. You know, other than Leticia. Leticia was coming down there. So I would have been fine if I would, you know, something happened. I would have screamed my top on long. She would she would have heard it. She, she keeps that place safe. Which surprisingly, it, smoking crack is a hell of a drug. I've smoked crack at times. I can hold it. I can hold my own very well compared to most people. Most people, they, they start, they get jacked up like this, you know? They start... She, she was a little bit, you know? I think she does just enough to keep her, you know, she knows how to maintain the sense, you know, stay out of trouble and do it. She knows I know. She knows that I know. I put her on blast, kind of, because she, she, you know, it wasn't her really, but she kept on, like, overstepping her welcome, you know, asking questions, and you know. Just walking into people's business, doing that crackhead shit, you know? And she knew it. And I called her out on it. You know, like, come on. Like, I gotta get to work. Like, go do something. And she did. She she got the hint. But that PT Cruiser, the car that's next door, the, the black gentleman there, sitting there asking me for $8 to wash his car. Asking the white guy from upstairs for eight dollars to wash his car. I'm like, man, you wanna go get a crack rock? He's like, no, I need. I was like, I'll give you four dollars. I, I don't even have four dollars. He's like, I'll give you four dollars. I was like, that's enough to wash the car. I just washed my car with four bucks, three bucks actually. He's like, but I wanna shine the rooms, make them shiny. I'm like, man, I'm like, you want eight dollars so you can go get a pack of blow? That's what it is. I'm like, cause I know you can go get a pack of blow for seven dollars. I used to go get a pack of blow for seven dollars. That's what it was. He wasn't trying to get cracked. He's trying to get a pack of blow. Wouldn't leave me the fuck alone. I told him, bro, I'm here to do what it is I am told to do. That is it. I'm not here to speak to you, to know who you are, to answer any questions. Carry on, dude. He got the hint as well. How you doing? I'm so excited for this food. I really I paid seventeen dollars for a combo meal, like what the fuck? I was trying to save five bucks and spend it. Yes. Thank you so much. You are gonna make my night. I haven't had food like this in a long time. You guys have the best Mexican food. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. God bless. They do. They have the best Mexican food in this area. I promise you, it's it's the best. I'll show you why. 
it's real food. Hopefully they gave me uh, utensils. There goes uh, AMG. So we're in Dearborn, Dearborn Heights, really, really uh, expensive area. A lot of money, you hear me? The modern money, oil money, gas station money, drug money. A lot of money out here. I would stay out here if I can find people to go in business with me that are willing to do car stuff, but I haven't found anyone that has capital or anything like that. So, I'm reaching out to people, you know, but no one that is serious yet. I have a few people in mind. So the bag's empty. That's what we have. The most, I'm telling you, this coleslaw is the best coleslaw. It, it's sweet. It, it, I don't know how to explain it. Here we go. Here's the combo platter. Real food, which I didn't get a fork. I gotta run inside real quick. Which, I don't wanna leave my food out here. People will steal. They just went in my car. A kid went in my car. What's funny is I know, I don't know the kid specifically, but I know what kid did it. And what's funny too is when he came in the Starbucks, he was kind of acting funny. He was trying to like avoid looking at me, but couldn't stop looking at me. And what's funny is I felt it too. I knew something was going on. And it's hilarious because I didn't even, when I rolled down my window, when I left it down, I even told myself something's going to happen. And then I, I just second-guessed it. I got to ask for it for it. Do you have any utensils to eat with? Thank you. I'm poor. <laughs> Thank you, kindly. Can you eat? So right to eat. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Awesome. Thank you, sir. All right, now we eat. Let's fish eat. Fish and eat, fish and eat. I'm so hungry. Which, I'm just going to bite into this taco real quick because I don't need a utensil. Mm-hmm. It's real. It's real food. Thank you, Lord. Oh my God. Huh. Thank you, Jesus, for Spanish food, for Mexican food. That cheese and the, the beef. It's the most authentic Mexican flavor you can get, really, you know? And their beef, they're, like, look at it. It's, it's been marinating for ever, you know? It melts in your mouth. It has that taco taste, you know, that, that kind of burned taste. Mm-hmm. You can taste the Mexican cheese, the shredded cheese. The cheese that they use here is different. It's uh, it's fucking good, dude. Everything about this place just everything screams authenticity when it when you taste it. 
It's the most creamiest coleslaw ever. It's creamy sweet, right? But it has that. I don't know how to explain it. Very fresh. If you can think of like, like carrot fresh, cabbage fresh, that's what it tastes like. Cold, crunchy. The coleslaw is the best, man. It has a hint of horseradish in it. You can, you can taste like, it doesn't, it's not hot whatsoever, but you can definitely taste a hint of horseradish in it. That's what I'm super excited for this, which causes indigestion, tons of problems. Mm-hmm. The reason why I want this though is they cook this in, in liquor. This has rum, liquor, poured onto the pan. This is fried in alcohol. Greasy, why not? I'm going to scrape this off so you guys can see it. Reason why I wanted to sock is I wanted beans too. Beans are a really high source of protein. They give you a lot of energy for a long time, and your body can process it very easily. It's really nourishing for you. Um, I eat a lot of beans actually when I'm out in the wild type thing, or I'm traveling, and I'm actually sourcing. You know, I'm, I'm budgeting on food and stuff, which I'm heading south. I got to get this car ready. I'm letting the store, I'm letting all my stuff go so I can just leave. I have no way to bring it with me, nor do I have a way to pay for the storage unit continually each month, nor do I have anyone to do it for me, nor do I have a place to put the stuff freely or pay someone else less money than what it costs for the storage unit. So for me to live in my car and for me to dump every single bit of money that I have into the company, it makes no sense for me to dish out $200 a month for stuff that, the only thing that I would really want out of there, honestly, are the two tables and that dresser, my great grandma's dresser with the vanity mirror, everything else and that mirror. Everything else is irrelevant to me, really. This is why I'm leaving it. And my bad, my bad. But where am I putting it? Where do I have a home to put it in? No. My home is my car, and I was planning on doing this anyways. I wanted to do this. I've been planning on this for years to do this. I just didn't want to, I wanted to plan it, right? And then have funds that do it. And have people help me, like the house, right? I would have all my computer equipment. I'd be able to run websites, all that stuff. People would be able to book things, you know, book appointments for me, with me, all that stuff. I can't do none of that stuff now yet because the family, the family father of mine dumped me. So therefore, I was forced into this without any capital, The capital that I do have, it's for the boat and strictly for the boat. I will not spend it on anything but the boat and weather equipment for the boat. That's the ultimate goal. And I have the money to do so. So by me knowing I have that money to do so, I know that even... 
if I travel, right? Then I set everything up. It won't be a waste because I'll have the money to achieve what it is I'm achieving. Just to start up beans, cheese, lettuce. When you come here, they give you a basket of chips. You can eat as many chips as you want. They have mild sauce, hot sauce. Fucking good, man. I'm cold. I don't even know what time it is. 8.45. I don't want to waste this. I don't want to throw it in the dumpster. Though I guarantee that dumpster gets hit up every night by raccoons and skunks and all that. I guarantee it. I won't eat this tomorrow. It will be. It won't be good tomorrow. I don't have a fridge or a way to keep it heated or cold. You know, it'd be fine to eat in the morning, right away in the morning. If I was a margarita, I would make a way for me to keep this, at least the coleslaw. It's going in the garbage. I'm full. I haven't ate all day and I fast a lot. I usually only eat one big meal a day, if I can. If it allows me to. If I'm not fasting. If I have the money. Mainly the reason why I'm eating big like this is because of the videos, is to show everyone and to have content. Mostly I just eat small meals throughout the day, every day. One big meal. It's the best thing for me for traveling because I've been stuck in situations where, you know, you eat three times a day, you know, you your, your body is accustomed to it. You go two days without food, you're fucked. You don't, your stomach will stretch, you know what I mean? You, you're hungry. <laughs> you become miserable. By me eating small meals and one big meal through the day, I train myself myself for what it is I'm doing. So 